your season of engagement can easily be just a season of wedding planning. Mm. And in all honesty, quite a bit of it is. Um, And so I think it's important to do some work prior to being engaged on preparing yourself and your hearts for marriage. And then also to be very intentional during that season of engagement to be not only preparing for a wedding, preparing for a marriage. Mm -hmm. For sure. And I think we, I think we did that in in several ways. And it, and by the way, it wasn't by like reading a bunch of books. No, it wasn't. Everyone always asks us like, what books did you read while you were getting ready to get married? And maybe we're bad people, (sighs) but like we didn't, we read one book in our premarital counseling that was terrible. That was terrible. But I, I think you read a couple. But like, I, I don't like learn. I don't learn well from books like that. Like, I it's not my thing. Yeah. Which and for some people, they read like twenty books, and it was super helpful for them. But for us, we did not read all them like marriage books and Mm-mm. you and me forever, and you know the meaning of marriage. Yeah. Like, not that there's anything wrong with them. No, we just didn't. We read just didn't them. do it personally. I, but I think we learned a lot, like we've been talking about, by. By I hesitate to say experience, but what I mean by that is just through conversation about these topics. About these topics and also with other older married couples. Yeah. Like talking to them about their season of engagement, their first couple years of marriage. Yeah, that was Their huge. struggles, like really leaning on those sort yeah. of wise mentors and counsel that we had in our lives. And that was a time, that was really around a time where I started to, even though I was still in the show, that was really when I started traveling and speaking a little bit. Mm-hmm.